All right, Brigida, now on Bounce, traveling is the perfect time to get away from your daily routine and just kind of enjoy yourself. But some of you still fail to get the most out of traveling alone. So we've called in an adventurer to help you out. I want to welcome Tamela Rich to the show. Good to have you here. Thank you for having me. All right. Well, she's also an author and storyteller. We'll get to her book a little bit later. But uh, now a lot of people have this problem trying to travel by themselves. How can we start enjoying ourselves when you, when you go out of town? The first thing is don't pack your schedule. Leave lots of room for flexibility because when you're traveling alone, you're very approachable and you'll get into a conversation with someone and you don't want to be scurrying to the next thing. Okay, now what are some of the great places that maybe you've been uh, to travel alone? Uh, you know, I've been to alone 47 states and five Canadian provinces. Wow. So. There are you are. You're an expert there. on this, right? You, you, you know exactly what's going on with that. I travel alone most of the time, too, so you, I understand. You yes, know, even within two hours of Charlotte, you can find plenty of places with lovely people and uh, charming overlooks. We live in a great part of the country. Well, all right. Uh, let's talk about uh, your six ways to enjoy yourself uh, when you're out of town by yourself. First, you said build a flexible schedule. That's right. Okay. And that includes not buying all your tickets because when you get, you know, in the heat of the experience, you don't want to have to say, oh man, I already bought that ticket to that thing. You want to have the flexibility, so don't buy them all. You know, buy a couple, right. but don't buy every one of them. Don't, pa don't pack it. Don't pack it. All right, number two, don't buy all your tickets in advance. We just covered that kind yep. of what you're saying. Let's go to number three then. Uh, put down that phone. Oh my gosh. Oh my put, goodness. Put down that phone. It's okay, you know, take some snaps on the phone if you want, but when you've got your head down composing that perfect, eloquent 140 character tweet with the right hashtag, you're going to miss, you know, something that just flew overhead or, you know, you're going to miss a conversation you could have with someone else. Be in the moment. Yes. Be in the moment. And if you get a picture taken, I was in Asheville this past weekend and some of our friends that I was there with, we asked somebody to take a picture. Make sure they know what they're doing. We, we didn't check the pictures because we didn't want to hold them up anymore. And they uh -huh. went back and basically all the pictures were of the rocks that were below us. I have no oh, idea. It didn't oh. shoot any of us. It's, it's amazing. Okay, that, that was a totally unrelated story. Talk to strangers, number four. Yes. When you talk to strangers, you'll learn about places that aren't even on the guidebooks, aren't even on the maps. So sit at the, uh, at the bar or at a, a family-style si table mm -hmm. when you eat at a restaurant and just say, Hi, I'm Tamala Rich from Charlotte. I've never been here. What's the best thing on the menu? Or are there any famous people buried here? Just come up with a trivial, easy question for the people that you're eating with, and you'll be amazed what you learn. And sometimes you can gain friends, and that may go back to that number one where you said keep your schedule flexible with tickets, right. and they might say, hey, we're going to such and such now. You want to come exactly. along Exactly. We have a spare ticket. Let's go. I understand. Let's go to number five. Don't do the same things you do at home. Oh. That's, that's really... Yeah. I always commit to myself when I go out on a road trip that I will not eat at a chain restaurant. I always like to eat at farmer's markets or local mom and pops. You can eat at, you know, the places around town, mm -hmm. across the country, but why? Yes. Do something different. And you can find out some of those in advance right, as Absolutely. well, right? Okay, number six, the last one, uh, become a third wheel, like you said. Uh, that Maybe come back to, to what number four was, sitting down and talking about it and talking to strangers, sure right? Thing. You know, what I find is uh, oftentimes when people have been traveling together for a few days, they're ready to have someone join them and help break it up a little. And, you know, you'll, between you, you guys will, the three of you, the five, five of you, however many, you'll come up with some fun things that you wouldn't have come out, come up with on your own. All right. Well, great to have you here. We're quickly hit the book. I, uh, um, on the front of this book is a pink bra on my motorcycle because I joined a group of women who were raising money and awareness for breast cancer causes as I traveled the country. And everywhere I stopped, Scenic overlooks, gas stations, restaurants. People would see that pink bra and approach me and say, I want to tell you about my encounter with cancer. And right. I heard a lot of stories that said, I want to tell you about my mom. So I captured some of these life lessons wow. in the book. All right. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having Great me. Great information. All right. Uh, Brigitte, back to you. All right.